Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so today I have a, a collective haul. I have like a bunch of these little ones filmed and for some reason I just cannot get them up like other videos I film take priority and so I've been posting other videos but I do have a few kind of like collective hauls so you're gonna see a little bit of that I've been just getting some new products for the spring and just some purchases that I've been wanting for a while so uh, this is kind of collective it's been over a couple of months and I forget here and there to include it in the other ones so this is it. Okay, the first thing I got, which I had heard a lot about, and I had tried once before, but um, not this particular one. This is the Fake Bake Flawless. And I found this at Ulta, and it's a self-tanner. And it has, it comes in like a little spray bottle like this, and a mitt. Um, I really like this one, but what I don't like uh, is to use it on my face. I feel like when I use it on my face, it gives me a really, um, like an older appearance. I feel like it adheres to like some brown spots and stuff. Now they do have, they say you can use it for your face, but they do have one specifically for your face. So, um, anyways, it has a really good smell to it. The only thing else I will say is that if you go to sleep on your sheets, like if you put it on at night and you go to sleep on your sheets, it will rub off on your sheets. So make sure you either have dark sheets or you lay a towel down. A towel down. A towel down. <laughs> lay a towel down. Um, else you're going to get some like orange sheets and yeah, my husband was like, what? Is happening <laughs> so anyways I do like this thing I recently got um I didn't use it today but this hot tools this is a one and a half inch it's very very large I wanted something for like big loose um, like almost like ethereal waves so I got this it's the biggest one that I've ever had um, anyways it sounds bad but it's the biggest curling iron I've ever had <laughs> And uh, I really like it. So I've always had really good luck with hot tools. Um, and they were running a sale at Ulta where they had, I think this was 49 but then they had it on sale for 34 So I went ahead and picked it up then. And then you can use your coupons off. You get like the, the quote unquote drugstore side coupons off at Ulta. So I got the $3 off coupon. And um, I didn't realize you could use it on like their hair tools and hot tools and that kind of thing. One of my friends, Tressie, she did not, she got, I think she got the birch box or the glossy box. I'm not sure which one it came in. But this Tarte Amazon or Glamazon lipstick came in that and this is in the color Fierce. She just said she couldn't do it. So it's like an orangey red and I like it. I like orangey reds. I feel like orange is kind of a hot color for the spring. So she passes along to me. Thank you, Tressie, because I will adore it. Uh, but these lipsticks, I've had really good luck with them in the past. The other color I had had was Wild, but I ended up returning it because MAC Red is very similar to it. So, But I was sad because I really did like the formula of these, um, and they were really well. So I'm glad to have another one again. Another thing I got was this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I think I talked about this maybe in another haul, but anyways, um, it was by the cash register, a little mini size, so... Um, I've never tried it before, but picked one up to try, and so far I like it. I do like Fix Plus, though, from MAC. Okay, I Instagrammed a picture of these nail polishes, but I picked up some of these L'Oreal nail polishes from their new Romantic collection. I'm not quite sure the name. This is Royally Yours, which is a really nice powder blue. This is Pistachio Dream, which is like a green with a hint of some shimmer in it. This one is Macaroon Me Madly, which I just like the name. It's like a milky coral color. And then this one I love, Lacy Lilac. Really pretty pinky purple color. Now is this Essie's Mint Candy Apple, which is like a, a fan favorite. Everybody knows, oh, does anyone notice the new little friend? My friend Joanna dropped off this little orange owl right here to go with the green one, so now he has a friend. 
Um, I'm going to start a collection of owls. So they're just going to be sitting there in the background staring at you. Okay, so everyone has kind of heard, if you're a Lip Butter fan, Revlon came out with four new lip butters. Um, I'm a huge lip butter fan. I think I have all of them. Um, with exception, I don't have Tutti Frutti, so, but one of them in here is pretty similar to Tutti Frutti. So I'm just going to show you them and swatch them. This one is Wild Watermelon. Really pretty reddish color. There's that one right there. It's just like a nice buttery wash of color. This one is Juicy Papaya. Now this one reminds me of Tutti Frutti. It seems like an orangey cream color, a little bit more wearable though on the lips. This one is Sorbet, which I think is my favorite of the new ones. It's like a milky reddish uh, fuchsia pink color right there. This last one is Pink Lemonade, which is like a milky creamy pink color. Um, this one would probably be the most wearable. As you can see, it's like the, le the least pigmented of them. So I picked those up and um, got a fairly good deal on them because at Ulta, or I found them at my grocery store, H-E-B. They had them in a display. So I feel like there a lot of people have had trouble tracking them down. I think that they are starting to show up now. In that same display was this Revlon Baby Stick, which is a new product from Revlon. It is a stain for lips and cheeks. Here it is right here. Now this is in the color Pink Passion. Okay. Doesn't have a smell. It actually has a chemically chemically smell. So it's just like a, a sheer kind of stain. It's not very pigmented. It's almost like I would say like a jelly like stain um, really does sit to stain your cheeks to give them like that underglow now I haven't tried it yet so I can't say if I like it but this was $8.99 and they didn't have any coupons at the time so I didn't realize how expensive it was I think if I would have realized I wouldn't have bought it I don't know if this is like it doesn't have it's like miniature okay so like this is my, it's like the size of my pinky so I just don't think that it's worth it and it is a roll up I don't want to try and see how much product it has in it for fear it won't go down but I don't know you might want to think about skipping it okay something else that I picked up from the drugstore which I once I heard that they had this I was like yes because Stila has a very expensive one like this it is a waterproof coal cudgel and it's in scandal the scandalized from Remmel and it is a flesh tone color for your waterline. Now I don't know if you can see because it's flesh tone, but it's super creamy and waterproof. So I have it on my line. It goes on so well. Um, it's in the color nude. So any of the colors in the Scandalize, the new eyeliners, they are so creamy and amazing. So I highly suggest all the colors. But I was really excited because it's really hard to find a creamy flesh tone. Um, eyeliner at the drugstore prices $4.99 okay so I have a different shirt on because I was filming this video and it got cut off so this is like four hours later <laughs> okay so I think I was talking about the wet and wild um, reserve your cabana highlighter now this is not limited edition you can find it I had seen a few people talking about it it's just a really nice champagne highlight on the cheeks it gives a really nice sheen I don't know if you can see that but a really pretty sheen to your cheeks so it's perfect and it's like $4.99 maybe or $3.99 so perfect from the drugstore so if you haven't picked up that wet and wild reserve your cabana it's like next to the bronzers do it because it's like cheap one of the best highlighters ever this pro longwear concealer and this is in the color nc20 i was going to get nw20 but i ended up picking up nc20 and i think it works really great for me it looks like and here it is right here just a really nice color 
This is great for like little touch-ups and stuff, or you can use it under the eyes. Okay, so I just put that on under my eyes. No concealer is 100% crease proof, but this um, does a better job at not settling into your fine lines and wrinkles under your eyes. So I really do like it. Okay, the next two things um, are the new MAC Mineralized Lipsticks. Uh, MAC came out with Mineralized Lipsticks. They're uh, a different packaging than typical MAC lipsticks. They have like a magnetic closure right here. Um, even the shape of the lipstick is different. It's like slanted differently. So this color is in dreaminess and I picked this one up because it's the closest to Snob and I really like the color Snob. But Snob is the satin so it's a little bit drying. These are like, apply like cream sheens and sheen supremes like a mixture of both and they came out with 12 different colors and they're more expensive than the typical mac lipsticks the regular mac lipsticks are 15 dollars like from the regular line but these are 22 so um i only picked up one i wanted to see how it was i really like it although i feel like the rest of the colors i kind of have something similar i do have something similar to this but it is one of my favorites so i thought i'd pick it up in a more pleasurable to wear formula the thing i picked up from mac is this pro longwear lip pencil in more to love this is like it has like a a nice pencil tip like this and that's the color right there it's just a really pretty red fuchsia color this thing is no joke I put it on all over my lips and fill them in and I topped it with like um, the, the vivid lipstick from Maybelline and vivid rose I'm not kidding you that thing all stay day long like this did not budge at all so I wish that they had more more awesome colors in the pro long wear but they don't they have like some other like yellow toned more yellow toned pink color but I just don't think it would be anything special but this color is really pretty and Cassie and a whole bunch of other people have talked about this so I ended up deciding to pick it up so I made um, a couple of purchase an uh, online purchase from Sephora um, and I got a few samples from that purchase I got the Josie Marin Argon Oil, um, this is like a 100 point perk, and I always hear just great things about how you can use this for your face, hair, and skin, so I decided to try that out. I haven't used it long enough to say whether yay or nay, it's something I would buy again. And then I got the Dior Show Maximizer um, Lash Primer, so or Base Mascara Lash Primer. I used it today, and you know, so far so good, nothing like whoa I have to have this type thing so but that was like one of the extra um, you could you know you could extra promotions that was going when I placed my order so happy to have that um, okay so one thing I got was from Hourglass now this is my first Hourglass thing this is an ambient powder and I don't know if you guys have heard or ambient powders but this is the new like thing that I keep hearing about it's like a this is in the color dim it's right here this is like a beige powder and it's supposed to be like a lighting all over face finishing powder to create a soft focus for your face basically um, or like an airbrush finish so I have it on today and I just put it on over all of my makeup and it's supposed to create a very nice soft focus finish so I've really been enjoying trying this out um, I did pick up a few others but I'm, I don't love them and it's kind of expensive so I just am gonna end up holding on to dim and returning the others but I wanted to show it to you because I definitely love this one um, they have like more yellow toned ones they have a pink toned one um, and then like a white a white ethereal I think it's called Ethereal Light, 
one. Really, really nice. Definitely worth the money, in my opinion, for a nice finishing powder. So I've really been enjoying that. Then, okay, like one of the serious makeup regrets that I have is I returned the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. And I had it back in the day. I had gotten it off of the Sephora Friends and Family Sale. And I ended up returning it because... I didn't like the top row, I thought it was too powdery, but like now I keep seeing people doing tutorials with it and I'm like, did I just not give this thing a fair shake? Was I just, I don't know what why I was regretting purchasing it so much, but I keep seeing people use the color um, African Violet and that's the color that I have the most regrets and it's permanent in Laura Mercier's collection, so I just went ahead and picked this color up. It's such a pretty like violet shimmer taupe shade. It's like, it's like a, a purpley pink with like a gold duochrome to it. It's right there. So I love that shade. I'm really glad that I just got my hands on that again. I'm sad because I've been looking all over for the Laura Mercier palette. No one's selling it on eBay. No one is like, everyone's happy that they had it and they kept it. So I was like, boohoo. I'll just do the next best thing and get the one color that I really, really was sad that I was missing out on. So I picked up the NARS Duo in, eyeshadow duo in Cordura, Cordura. So it's like this brown and then deep dark brown shade right here. And this deep dark shade has some gold shimmer going through it. It's darker, this 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 color is darker than NARS Galapagos. It's just like a blackened color. So here are the two colors right here. Let me swatch this. Runs throughout this one. I don't know if the camera will quite pick it up. And then the last two things, I've had this for a while. I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. This was something I drag, I drug, dragged, drug my heels on for a really long time. I was like, why do I need that? Why do I need that? Now I know I've told this in my Friday Favorites, but I just thought I would talk about it again because this is like the one thing that I'm so, so, so glad that I picked up. Um, you can certainly um, buy you know, make a palette. There are certainly dupes for these shadows. By no means are they um, super, uh, by no means are they super different from anything else or super unique shades, but it's nice to have it all in one. I pretty much use this every single day, if not for the highlight shade or this. Like today I use this as my highlight and this was to darken up my eyeliner and then I use this one on the bottom lash line to smoke out some eyeliner. So um, all of these shades right here are all matte, and this shade is shimmer. So it's six shades for $27, so it breaks down to like drugstore prices per shadow. I love Urban Decay's formula of their eyeshadows. They last on me. Um, this was just a really great thing. Honestly, I feel like if, if some of my friends, if I'm looking for like a really good everyday thing to get one of my friends, I'm going to definitely think to get them the Naked basics palette because I've enjoyed it so much and I just think it's a really good bargain so um yeah I really liked it and I encourage you to if you think it's like do you need it no do you want it yes and it, do I use it absolutely it's one of the things I use every day I call it the best friend palette because it's like a best friend to every palette you have so, okay, the last thing is this L'Oreal Visible Lift Blush. This is in Peach Gold. I think this is like NARS Orgasm in a cream blush. Now, if you haven't tried these, they're like a spongy type feeling. Can you see? It's almost like the Dream Dream Lumi or the, the Bouncy Blushes. It's similar to that. Uh, it has that same feeling. It's a very silky, nice color. It's it's very pigmented in my opinion for you know a nice for the for the blush but it's such a pretty peachy gold color it really is it's like Nars orgasm so this is just like the perfect little summer blush to pair under um, 
if you have NARS orgasm or any, if you have NYX's pinched, this would like go great, like as a base on your cheeks and then, you know, put pinched from NYX over it or NARS orgasm, whatever one you have. So anyways, I really like it. I've heard that it's like expensive at the drugstore. I got mine for $6. Now I bought it at Target and I had a coupon. So I don't know if it was just because I had a really good coupon. So I think it was like $8 and I got it for 6 I don't know, but yeah, $8 is kind of expensive for a drugstore blush. But anyway, I like it and um, I definitely will use it and I think it's a really fun summer color. So that is my haul. I am sorry if this was so long, but I just kind of want to get through some of the products. A lot of new drugstore stuff here and a lot of like new fun spring products. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.